Boss, just over a week ago, you could almost fit your contracted players into a car if you needed to get them anywhere. How much more comfortable do you feel now? Not just the fact that you've signed three, but there's strong talks with others. Yeah, I, I'm really pleased. You know, I think it's worked well. I've, I, I, I'll be honest with you, I like the way it works here because, you know, uh, although um, we've done a lot of scouting and I meet the players and I discuss, you know, the way we want to develop the players on a football basis I don't get involved in the financial aspects and I'm really comfortable with that because I think it takes away any uh, friction between the manager and the player I think it's a really important people shouldn't underestimate the role of of the director of football in the club so we've managed to talk to them we've managed to convince them and David's managed to get the deals done so I'm really pleased the way it's gone so far you know the 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 uh, the uh, getting in the three players as we have done in, in a short period of time and also finalising the deals on our goalkeepers I think great business for us over the last week As these pieces fall into place do you start to get even more excited about what lies ahead? Of course um, and if we can continue to to get the players in that we, we want to get in and we get the players in that we've done the appropriate due diligence on then you're obviously very co- confident and comfortable with that you know we don't want to get in a situation where we're we're scrambling for players and we're making panic signings that's the last thing we want to do and that's why we're working really hard at this moment in time to identify and try and complete the signings that we want to do How oh, that work a really busy week you've had double sessions with around 20 trial players at the club this week What's been the thinking behind that? It's I'll, I'll be honest with you that from my time in football and my time not only managing but also playing is that at pre-season you always get trialists coming in and sometimes you have a trialist that comes in and after one day people are saying, oh no. Uh, and he actually affects the standard of the session and you end up having to have agreed to bring them in for a period of time. And you end up wasting the players' time and, and, and wasting your own time. And we wanted to kind of filter that. We had a lot of names put to us. We decided that uh, it would make uh, good sense to be able to see them firsthand and then decide whether on that basis we invite them in for a trial uh, come the start of the season. So that was the real thinking behind it. No player from this period, this week, will be offered a contract. It was really a filtering process to allow us uh, peace of mind that when we bring them in at the, the start of the season, they're of sufficient quality to come in and have a real chance of, of gaining a contract. Has it worked Will some of those boys be coming back? Um, we, we've seen a couple of players that we think are of good interest. Um, we'll discuss it over the next few days and then we'll obviously get messages back to them in the coming weeks whether we, we plan on bringing them back in or not Great to see Branthway, Dixon, McCarran and Kerr they were involved as well Yeah, um, it was great to see them You know, I spoke to them at the start of the week again about a, a number of things that we expect of them and they're under no illusions and I really want to push our young players You know, I get excited about young players coming through the ranks at your club They've got, as I've said, a feeling about your club and I keep going back to it, they want to be here. So we want to really push them and uh, this was a good week for them again. And Arthur Ganoa getting around the pitch as well during those trial sessions, does that suggest that even though he's been released there might be something still there? Yeah, you know, we wanted to, to see Arthur, we wanted to assess him again. He, he, he had to leave early because of a, an issue outside of football, but he trained... Uh, for several days and he, he looked very comfortable in amongst it which is good um, and again he's something, somebody that we'll, we'll consider and uh, we'll speak to over the coming weeks Have you got any chance for any downtime over the coming weeks? I'm going to London this weekend with my wife for uh, for three days I'm really looking forward to that um, she'll be complaining because she'll know I'll be on the phone again uh, and then I'm going away with my family on the 14th of June for nine days where I again I always think I'll switch off, but, you know, football, you never can. So I'll get a couple of breaks then, but the other time we'll, we'll be working hard to try and get an appropriate players.